In one of your program challenges, you will need to make a calculator in Small Basic. Let's just use the example of a real calculator. We have the first number, which could be 8. We would then have an operator, so something like plus, minus, times, or divide. Let's just choose times. We would then choose our second number. Let's just choose 8 again. And 8 times 8 is 64. Let's see if that works. There you go. And it gives us our calculation. Now, to do this in small basic, we need to have three inputs. So using our variables in this table, we would have number 1, which is going to be an integer. It could be a real as well if you want it to be. But for this scenario, we're just going to choose a whole number, which is an integer. And we've got an example of 5. We have another variable called number 2 which is also a integer and we've given it a value of two and we have an operator so it could be any symbol like we said before plus minus divide or times in this case a plus so five plus two would equal equate to seven now with the program concepts we need to use we would need to learn how to use inputs data types and selection using if so let's launch up small basic. So the first line we have so far is text window dot right line my calculator program. The next line is the same as the first line, but it's asking you to enter your first number. So please enter your first number. Now if you look at line four, we have the variable called number one, number underscore one like we did in our variable table. Remember, you can have any name you want for your variable as long as it's relevant and you don't have any spaces. So number one, we are going to have number one equals text window dot read number. So that's really important, read number. So it's declaring that as a number. The next line is text window dot write line. You chose number one. If I compile this program, It will ask me to enter my first number so I'm just going to choose five like I did in my word document and press enter you chose five so that seems to be working that's good if you go back to this we can actually just copy these three lines again as our next variable is called number two and the only changes we would need to make in this is to change this line here instead of saying number one to say number two and for the last line instead of saying text window dot right line you chose number one to say number two when I compile this program again and run it what you notice is we can enter the first number which is five good you chose five and enter the second number two so, so far, we've already got the program to enter our first two numbers. Now, we can actually copy this line again to do the operator, and I'm going to show you one example of that. So here's one I've done so far. As you notice, there is some slight changes. So we had to change the variable name. Instead of being number one or number two, we chose operator. And the most important thing is, if you notice here, instead of being read number, because it's a string, we have just chosen read instead. So this will allow us to add a plus, minus, divide, and multiplication symbol. So we've got the bulk of the program running already. We just need to do the last thing, which is using a if statement to make it all run. And what we mean by an if statement is to use all of these inputs to give us a calculation. So if we look at the bottom code from line 15, we have if operator, in this case we might choose plus, equal plus, it will run these two lines. Text window dot right line, right, answer is text window dot right number one plus number two. So in this scenario, it's going to check if the operator is equal to plus. If it is, we'll get number one. In this case, we typed a five. It will get number two. In this case, we type a number two. And it will work out the results. However, if we make a mistake, we can give an error of text window dot right. You did not choose the correct 
value. So let's just run this program. So if I choose 5, press 2, and please enter a symbol, so I'm just going to choose plus. You chose plus. Answer is press any key to continue. So if you just notice here, the answer is seven, and that's our correct answer. To actually add more operators, we could use else if to add another if statement, and we could choose to copy this section again and place it underneath or right next to it. If operator equals Instead of plus, we could choose another operator such as minus. And instead of being text window dot write number, uh, write number one plus number two, since it's the minus one, we could do number one minus number two, and that should make our program work. And you could do text window dot write line, get rid of that one actually, because we don't need it. So that would give us our answer in that scenario. Okay, so else if operator equals minus text window dot write answer is that's better for fine text window dot write number one minus number two and if you chose five and two and you choose the minus operator using else if it should be fine and it should give us the answer of three and we've got end if which you need to have at the end of the program. So that's the basics of doing a calculator. I haven't done multiplication or divide, but you just need to copy these lines again, change the values, and let's see what you can make.